My day starts as early as 5 a.m. When I wake up, I go to the washroom, perform ablution, and come and pray. Right after prayer, I go to the washroom again and then take a shower and then get dressed and then I leave the boarding house somewhere around 7.30 for school. Every morning, Sadiq will wake up and commence his morning routine by reverential prayer, followed by detailed reflection and intricate planning to kickstart his productive and eventful day. So when I get to school, I have, I look at my agenda for the day and then try to set out the day, how it's gonna look like, the plans that I have, I make sure I put everything down. I call it my agenda book. And with everything written down, I go day by day. That's how I take my activities and everything. So I go day by day. And then once I've completed the tasks, basically that's what I do in the mornings. I am Abu Bakar Sadiq Yusuf, and then I'm 20 years old. Um, I've been in Ghana for the past 20 years. With being of both Nigerian and Ghanaian nationality, he has gone in and out of Ghana to Nigeria to visit family members, yet spent most of his 20 years in Ghana, making reference to it as his home base. Most of my academic years were here in Ghana, where I schooled um, at MBBDA first before I attended International Community School here at ICS. Um, I've been with ICS for about seven years before I graduated in July 2nd. And now I am no longer a student and I'm planning to pursue my university somewhere else. After seven years of persistence, he then successfully graduated in July 2021 with a distinction award. With willingly volunteering to take on a teaching assistant position in helping the math and science department, he is doing an exquisite job helping the head of high school and teachers to mark and grade scripts along with engrave the concepts he once learned into students' minds with a delivery of professionalism but genuine love and care. I've been here for almost three months and I've been assisting the math and science department at ICS. I've been a personal assistant to Mr. Pia, the head of high school. He normally has meetings, so when he has to take the practical lessons, I assist and go in for him. I step in, I teach both the upper set class and then the lower set form. As well as being a personal assistant to Mr. Pia, I've also been assisting the math department by helping them mark some of the scripts that the students have written their responses on. I give the feedback to the teacher. Sometimes I'm also giving the student their personal feedback on the question paper, and sometimes it's one-on-one. -on -one. Out of all other things Sadiq could have decided to do before he takes off into university, he willingly chose to come back to the educational institution that raised him up academically to then give back to them. My name is Samuel Apiakrufa, the head of secondary, Kumasi. Mr. Samuel Apiakrufa, the head of high school and physics teacher of 20 years and counting, is the main teacher which Sadiq serves as a teaching assistant to. As head of high school, his primary role is to act as the head of the academic team, consisting of head of departments, teachers, and staff. His role is to ensure students follow the curriculum and pass their exams well to meet the targets of the entire ICS educational institution. Sadiq, uh, I remember Sadiq from year 10. Year 10 as one of my physics students. Uh, one remarkable thing about Sadiq that I will always remember is his attention into details. He pays attention to the minute details of stuff. And he is that kind of student that it will be difficult for you to, you know, uh, uh, refuse to recognize. Um, I remember as a teacher helping their um, batch of students, sometimes uh, because of my role as head of school and also teaching, leading candidate class, Sometimes I get to the class just a little bit late. But by the time I get to the class, the leader in Sadiq 
will be at display. You will see him in the same class. He will pick the marker and he will be on the board teaching the peers. And sometimes I will stand in the window to watch what is going on. The kind of impact that Sadiq will be making on the class, if you are not careful, you wouldn't want to even interrupt. So that is the type of you know, student that Sadiq was. And therefore, it was not surprising at all that at the IGCSE, he got his distinction. And then at the A-level, the same kind of good attitude and leadership was exhibited and he ended up with another distinction. He has observed that Sadiq loves to support other students naturally and has a heart yearning to help others. As Sadiq teaches, Mr. Apia has observed that the poise he uses to teach is as that of a trained and certified teacher, and the extra support he gives outside school hours is genuinely done from his heart with pure intentions. Mr. Apia gives the example of the results of the physics students' records improving compared to before the time Sadiq was involved in their academic growth. I have students in Apasis, I have students in IG2, and the way Sadiq works with them, uh, he will come to me first to come and show me what he has prepared that he would want to, you know, uh, uh, deliver to the student. Initially, it was not too easy for me as a student, you know, giving the opportunity for the students to, a student to teach the student. But I gave it a try. Um, sometimes he will prepare, we will go, and I will sit at the back to observe how he is leading with the instruction. With Mr. Apia's experience in the science department, he has had many personal encounters with students and desires that every student leave with remarkable grades. But furthermore, top of the class leadership skills. Just as the motto of the school, training tomorrow's leaders today states. He believes it is the passion that drives and diversifies one leader from another, and hence why he supports the offering of leadership positions. Do you see any impact yeah. that Sadiq is uh, making, making on the, Yeah, I see a lot of impact uh, in that there is this saying that data will not lie. So, for instance, I know the level of our students, um, my physics students, uh, before um, Sadiq took them. And currently, when you look at where they are on our database, if you look at, for instance, when you are handling paper five, paper five is the advanced uh, practicals, and students are supposed to plan. Hypothetically, a problem will be described, and you will have to plan, design a plan to investigate it. And not only this batch, it's always been a challenge when you start with a student, the A-level student, because uh, it's difficult for them to figure out even what is being described and then to kind of suggest an investigation to you know, deal with the challenge. It is something, it's a skill that it takes time. That's why it is A2, advanced form of practicals. We have two forms of the practicals. The paper three is where you pick your own data, then you analyze the data. But the paper five, the advanced practicals, the problem is posed, and you will have to come up with your own plan, design and investigation into that. It's a skill that takes a lot of time for students to master. But with the coming in of Sadiq, this is the batch of students that they have been able to make so much progress over a very short period of time. Uh, for the first time, we want to write our first mock just next month, December. And normally, by the time of um, end of term, we will be still dealing with question one. There are two questions. But just before this session, he came to show me a paper which he has designed. And this is two questions, a full paper, which means the students have practiced and now they are confident to the point that they want to take pre-mock, mock ahead of mock. Such an impact, I can only attribute it to, you know, the presence of um, Sadiq. Yeah, and beside that, the confidence that my student now will show 
when they are in the lab uh, for this term, every week, the upper six form is not a single week without practicals. And it's all the practical sessions are being organized and led by uh, uh, Sadi. So now they are confident, they are able to do their setup, they can pick their data, even the planning, they are able to plan the investigation. It is a skill that really requires a lot of time to develop. But because of the presence of Sadiq, who is always working with them. S Sadiq is just engineer by, you can even see. <laughs> so he's been able to, you know, help them to pick up this. So the impact is not far-fetched at all. The data is there to support it. And I have been working with them since 2010. So I know that this is a skill that will normally take very long time for the students to, you know, um, develop it. But for the first time, and as a result of Sadiq present here, as he stays with them on campus, work with them over the weekends, work with them at prep time, now, even in term one, students are able to answer the full question of paper five. I can only attribute this one to Sadiq. Before Sadiq comes to class to teach, he goes through advanced pre-planning ahead of time and cross-checks with Mr. Apia before sharing with the students. Within his lesson plans, you can see Sadiq shows very high level thinking. By even thinking of possible anticipating student challenges they might have or questions they could ask, just to ensure all information being shared with them is done with maximum potential. To his advantage, him coming back and teaching and alongside mentoring students has helped keep concepts at the tip of his fingers and stray away from boredom. You just being there and not studying anything and just having to be on bed watching movies and those things sometimes can be interesting but most often it's boring. So when I decided that I wanted to give back to the community, I realized that just before I get into university, I can give back to the same community that helped me to come to where I am today. And so I decided to come back here to ICS to help the students because when I was a student there, one of the ideal things that I learned was giving back to the community. As a witness to the great works which Sadiq has done all over ICS campus, Shadrach in TAJ, a final year student, testifies of his experience with him. Sadiq is like a personal assistant available to all students and he helps the teachers because most of the most of our classes he's behind the class so if anyone else needs assistance he provides the necessary help while confirming the various means of help that Sadiq offers in the school Shadrach has noticed Sadiq sitting in classes while teachers teach to observe take note and learn from their teaching style He's open to chip in from time to time to the lesson's content and humbled to help students struggling along the way. Shadrach describes Sadiq as an asset to all, both in and out of school hours. Then he further explains the impact Sadiq has had on him alongside other students. And to me personally, he's been a very great asset, helping with questions, providing insights to other perspectives where I can approach questions from and he's done a whole lot for us. Sadiq has been taking us with ninth classes. He provides assistance through solving of past questions and with the A-levels solving of past questions is a very crucial factor. So with someone who is experienced and has done it and excelled in it, giving us the advice we need and the approaches we need to take to solve the questions more effectively and quickly. It's been a real help having him around. In the next five years, he aspires to be in Vancouver or Ontario, based off of the good reports and testimonies he's heard from family and friends. In the next few years to come, that's somewhere around five to six years, I see myself pursuing biomedical engineering, being the best biomedical engineer in Canada. Specifically, I want to be in Vancouver or sometimes too, I like Ontario because the experiences I have uh, listened to from 
my cousins who live there is very interesting and then having to get a chance to be there is going to be something I would like to experience. With a dream of becoming the best biomedical engineer in all of Canada, he looks forward to being given an opportunity to experience the authentic Canadian lifestyle.